you are you're a boarderer, you're educated here, you're the MSP here, and now you're down in uh, Westminster, and um, you're obviously you're a Scot and you love politics. Do you feel exhilarated that you are at the heart of this debate right now? Uh, I'm actually English, funnily enough, but it's, it's one of the quirks of the borders that you can uh, you can always be both, and I think that's one of the beauties that we've got, and one of the 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 um, interesting elements of the borders of of being an English borderer, but with uh, Scottish family, uh, and linking and blurring it over the last you know, hundreds of years, as as far as back as my family uh, goes back. There's a part of me, where I'll be honest, uh, there's a part of me which is. Um, disappointed that we're actually having the referendum and I I feel very strongly British but I know that I come from a particular experience of some form of dual identity of a mixed identity it's much, the, the lines are much more blurred in my family background and history because I was born right on the border at Berwick upon Tweed uh, like I say grew up you're born in England, but with an affinity for the whole of the Scottish border area and North Northumberland. So therefore, I feel as if the referendum is testing what I am. It's to some extent saying what I am cannot be. So therefore, I would have to choose between the two. That said, the fact that this is a process which is uh, being conducted in broadly uh, an informed way with responsible governments, civic participation in a peaceful way and a broadly respectful way, I think is a very Im is, is, a, is, is very impressive. I'm not exhilarated. I know other people are. I'm not exhilarated. I'm impressed, but at the same time, I'm disappointed that what I think is something that can be quite special, where you can be fiercely loyal and respectful of where you've come from with a number of identities and a perspective that that allows you to have there's something personal to me in the debate that I'm asked to say no no that will no longer be possible you will have to choose between which country you're going to be a citizen of um, and therefore it's it's a it's a conflicted period for me thank you and uh, obviously I I wouldn't ask you to, to call which way you think it is, but I think everyone has agreed it's going to be fairly close, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and let's think about the consequences. Um, if it's no, will things ever be the same again? Is the genie out of the bottle? What do you think? I think it will be different. Uh, uh, and I, I hope that it is. I, one of the, the aspects of the debate has is, is been trying to paint it as a polarised way of saying it's either in independent Scotland or it's the status quo and I've been working very hard to make sure that we take the opportunity of, of the referendum to make sure that there are reforms to the whole of the UK. I'm not satisfied with governance in the UK as it is at the moment I think it's still too centralised uh, I think that the Scottish Parliament structure is very proud as a member of it should have its own permanent constitutional standing. I would much prefer to see a, a more federal United Kingdom uh, I think Governance in England needs to be considered in a uh, very close order, and I, I think that I would like a no vote to herald in a period of forward-looking reform. I will certainly be as active as I can on that agenda. Set up a committees in the UK Parliament first to be looking in this area, a cross-party committee. Uh, it's something that I'm passionate about, and it's something that I will. Uh, work very hard. The, for me, therefore, the referendum uh, is a start of a progress, a process. What I want to see is United Kingdom renewal, rather than the end of a debate about whether or not Scotland should be independent. Now, that will be a challenge. There'll be some people who will think, big sigh of relief, the referendum's over. That's fine. Uh, but I actually think we need to, to, to see it as an opportunity rather than as a, we've simply just overcome a threat. Thank you, and, and what if it's yes, just how much will things change, be different? I think it will be uh, profound, uh, profound personally, 
for people, uh, profound politically, uh, and I think that it will herald in a, a, a huge period of uncertainty first, uh, and then another period of questioning, because many of the the, the consequences, what we're told, will be that we will be seeking to be part of unions again, whether or not it's a currency and monetary union, that will bring in inevitably some fiscal union, broadcasting union, social union, welfare union, uh, the, the crown, the head of state, that, uh, what comes with that. There would be a period of uncertainty during whatever maybe it will be long and protracted negotiations. Scotland will see the consequence, I think, of England and Wales and Northern Ireland becoming competitors rather than partners. They will not be aggressive, they will not, uh, I don't think it will be grossly antagonistic, but they will be in competition to us. And I cannot underestimate my view that as Scots would have the right to seek to negotiate the best terms for Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland will absolutely have the mandate to do that for them. And therefore, things will be different. And because there's no going back, then I think we will be uh, having to not overcome that in uh, just the period of negotiations, overcome for the long term about the fact that we are now no longer part of a union that uh, is a participatory union, a cooperative union, and it's now one of competition. Now, Many on the other side of the debate will say I could be uh, reading too much into that, but I think that um, it is something where I, I think many people who would be voting yes actually don't really appreciate it. For, for many people who vote yes, yeah, I think that the yes vote is simply a way to prevent the Tories being a government in Scotland ever again. I, there's a lot more that comes with that rather than just having one set of politicians that are not going to be in power.